Last year was officially the wettest on record in England and on Exmoor the weather saved its worst till last. Two days before Christmas the medieval Tar Steps Bridge was almost completely washed away. In our final film tonight we've been following engineers working to reconstruct this famous landmark. Tar Steps on the River Baal filmed just days before the fateful flood. It's a scheduled ancient monument that may be a thousand years old and is the longest example of a stone clapper bridge anywhere in the country. But all that counted for nothing on the night of December the 23rd. After days of heavy rain, water poured off the moors and into the river Fallen trees and debris were swept downstream with a colossal force before smashing into the ancient bridge. When the floodwaters receded, the extent of the damage was revealed. Two thirds of the bridge had disappeared. Slabs, some weighing over two tons, had been washed up to 30 metres downriver. Believe it or not, the bridge and the ford beside it are a classified highway, so Somerset County Council are responsible for its repair. Their man in charge of bridges is trying to locate and identify all the pieces of what's now a giant stone jigsaw puzzle. Contrary to popular belief, the stones aren't numbered. We prefer to call them uniquely referenced. We, we have actually never seen numbers on the stones. Instead, he relies on a set of photographs and drawings compiled in the 1980s. Uh, this records uh, what the stones look like, their orientation, and uh, what it enables us to do instantly is identify the stones and also identify whether there's been any damage. I think I've used an expression, this is probably our most politically incorrect bridge. It hasn't got any parapets, it's really quite uneven, uh, but we love it to bits. Local legend has it that the bridge was built by the devil and that he still has sunbathing rites on its stones. We're tethering where we think on those two trees. One, two, three. Kenny Higgins and his team have taken on the task of repairing the devil's handiwork. But first they have to erect a water-filled dam in the river to stem its flow. And we'll slowly unravel it as we're filling it off of the bank into the direction of where we want it to run and it'll keep about 90% of the water away from or well, the main flow out of our work site. It also helps protect any salmon spawn that's been laid in the riverbed. Working on a fast flowing winter river is a risky business. If it breaks away, yeah, we could uh, potentially lose our puffer dam which is around about 3,000 pounds. So we don't want that to happen. They've waited most of the day for the river to drop to a safe level. By the time they start pumping water into the dam, it's beginning to get dark. But there's no turning back now. Go on, Mickey, go on, Mickey. They struggle on in the cold water long into the evening. Got to come around a lot more than that. Day two and their hard work has paid off. The site is now protected from the full force of the river, so work can finally begin on the bridge itself. Really quietly then, see what he sits like. Beautiful. Ensuring the stones go back in their correct position requires painstaking measuring and checking, and they soon realise there's a problem. They've calculated that if they carry on butting the top slabs tightly together, as the plan seems to indicate, they'll end up with a gap at the far end. That could be embarrassing. So we just want to make sure that we're sorted on that. It means resetting all the stones they've laid this morning. Oh, it's a nightmare. An air of mystery surrounds Tar Steps. Nobody knows who built it, how or why. However, there's been much speculation about when it was built. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not prehistoric. I'm absolutely sure that it's late medieval or later than that. 
We don't know, and we're going to try and find out over the next few months by commissioning a study of it, but my guess would be 1500s or later. It's been raining all day, and hypothermia is a real danger. You literally are let, let in freezing water, and you just don't get a chance to warm up all day. But no, it's freezing, absolutely freezing. The river is rising, and they have to wrestle the dam out before it's carried away. It rains all night, too. Kenny returns to site, anxious to see if their hard work has been lost. He finds the river still in flood, but the partially repaired bridge has survived. We got down here and it's kind of horrified. The machine was nearly underwater. It was up to the up to the uh, bottom of the machine. And... The whole point. While the team waits again for the river to go down, a very special visitor arrives. Chris Cross was a 22-year-old Royal Engineer when he was sent to repair tar steps in 1952, the last time the bridge was damaged so severely. Have a look and see if they can see me on there, never. What time of year was it? When autumn. You... Was it autumn, was yeah. it? Isn't it? Fantastic. To be honest, you had some good weather. Yeah, we did have some good weather when, once we got started. You didn't know. On the yeah. there. It's quite yes. low, isn't it? Yeah, we had church leave order. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see them numbered? Did the stones numbered? No, There's been no, this no. Fable no. They weren't painted, no. No, no, no. no. Privileged to meet you. Yeah, Thank it, you for coming down to see us. Absolutely yeah. thrilled to, yeah. that you can make it. The fine weather that Chris enjoyed 60 years ago seems to have returned to the Baal Valley on Friday, allowing a final push. Is this one, Mickey? Will it fit? The final piece of the jigsaw. You choose your distance. All right, there. Good. Which way? Yay! <laughs> Spot on. Well done, Julian. Well done, chaps. Fantastic job. Fantastic. Cheers, boys. Well done. The landlady of the pub overlooking the bridge is on hand with champagne. Congratulations. Here's to Tarster. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 I'm really proud of you, Dad. Thank you, my darling. Doesn't it look great? It looks amazing. Yeah, it's good. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a hard, hard week. We've had some trials and tribulations, but... <laughs> Look at it, it's, it's a piece of ancient history. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, uh, it's an ancient mon a monument and uh, we, we've just rebuilt it. The last time this was kind of totally rebuilt was 1952. This week I even got to meet one of the Royal Engineers that actually done that. Things can't get better than that, it's fantastic. <laughs>